Hey, how's it going guys? So today I'm going to put on video for you 19 exercises that were left to us from Farmer Burns. Farmer Burns was a catch wrestler from the United States. Um, catch wrestling is uh, an old wrestling system from England and it became very, very popular in America and what we know as freestyle wrestling today, the wrestling that we see in the Olympics came from catch wrestling. Catch wrestling uses submissions and pinning. Farmer Burns is a very, very famous wrestler, uh, renowned for his strength and health and vigor well into his old age. There's 19 exercises. You're gonna see a lot of similarities between um, Asian Qigong and health exercises with these exercises. Farmer Burns heavily emphasized the importance of breathing as well as um, lifestyle, eating, sleeping, um, all the things that we know that keep you healthy and strong. Um, it was grouped in three different exercises. You had body weight exercises, you had exercise with dumbbells, and then exercises with a partner, and you progress through them. So these are the exercises that a beginner would start with. But uh, out of interest, you guys might find um, just the interest of seeing how the West also had qigong and body weight exercises um, and emphasis on health, the coordination of breathing, low abdominal breathing. Um, the idea, a lot of the, the things that you've learned in qigong were also done in America and the UK. Okay, guys. So the first exercises, are three exercises, are breathing exercises. Farmer Burns heavily emphasized the importance of timing. So timing your movement with the inhale and exhale. So we start with our feet, heels together, toes open, hands, tips of the fingers touching the shoulders. From here we inhale, stretching, exhale, inhale, full inhale, exhale. After 10 times we go forward, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. Good, that is exercise number one. Exercise number two, from here we extend the fingers and I'm going to lean forward as I exhale and I'm going to open my chest, turn my hands, inhale. So I exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. And we do that 10 times. Then we go to exercise number three. Exercise number three uses somewhat of resistance. So I'm going to grab my forearm, my fist, and I'm going to, as I'm bringing it up, I'm gonna be lift, uh, pressing up and pushing down. And then when I come here, I'm gonna be pulling down. So you're using two different forces. I'm gonna inhale on the way up and I'm gonna exhale on the way down and attention should be placed on the timing of the movement, the breath and the hands finish the same time. You have a full inhale and a full exhale. So it'd be like this. You would do 10 times, swap over 10 times the other side and that would be the first group of exercises, which are the breathing okay, exercises. The next exercises are arm exercises. So we begin again from this position here where the heels are touching, feet slightly uh, open. Hands, fists are on the chest. From here, I'm going to punch my hands up, extend my fingers, and then back down. These exercises are done with a little bit of uh, energy and gust. So from here, I would Again, coordinating the breathing. Okay, you do 10 to 20 times. From that position there, you would go out to the side. So that is, this is exercise number four. So breathing in, and then I'm going to extend my fingers. And again, opening and closing the hand. Then, the third exercise is going out in front. And each one 10 to 20 times. Then, the next exercise, number five, is 
hands underneath your armpits. This is going to feel a little bit uh, weird. So we bring our hands and we bring them underneath the armpit, like so. From this position here, we press down. Again, 10 to 20 times. Then from there, we go out to the sides. Again, fingers and hands extending the fingers. Okay, 10 to 20 times, and that would be exercise number five. Exercise number six, we bring the fists to the chest from here. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna try to get the elbows as high as we can. So from here, we bring elbows up. So we breathe. Okay, then from this position here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna snap my elbows back. So that's gonna push out the chest and pinch the shoulder blades. Okay, 10 to 20 times. And that concludes the arm exercise. Okay. Welcome back. The next exercises are resistance exercises. Again, these exercises are for beginners, uh, but the more strength you have, the more repetitions you can do, um, or the more resistance you can give. So the first exercise is we cross wrists, like so. Again, same foot position. And here, I'm gonna lift up with one arm while I'm pressing down with the other arm. I'll do this side, I've got a dodgy shoulder. So I'm gonna breathe in. Breathe up, resisting. So I'm pressing up and then I'm pressing down. Okay, you would do 10 times and then 10 times the other side for a beginner and slowly increase the rounds of repetitions. So that is the seventh exercise or the first one of the resistance exercises. The next exercise we have the feet slightly apart and we take a grip from the back and I'm gonna land up having to lean forward as I'm pressing my arm up my back as far as I can whilst giving somewhat of resistance in the shoulder. So I breathe in and push it down. Breathing in, breathing out. Again, you would do 10 times each arm and that is the second resistance exercise. The third exercise is for the wrists and fingers. So what we do is we begin with the palms like so and then from this position here we flare we drive the heels in and we flare the elbows up as much as we can okay then from this position here we alternate bring one elbow higher than the other while we're pressing the whole hand then we repeat the same exercises but we keep the fingers together in here and the thumbs together and then we start to flare the elbows out and then we alternate side to side, pressing the fingers back as far as you can. So that is the wrists and fingers. The next one is the neck exercises and we do all the directions of the neck. So we begin with pressing the neck to the side. So from this position here, I'm going to press to the side and give somewhat of resistance and then press back 10 times. Then I go here 10 times. Then I interlock the fingers, bring my chin to my chest, pressing up and down, giving somewhat of resistance. Then grasping your chin underneath, pressing the head back, giving it some resistance. Once you've done those four directions, now you need to do, do those four directions again, but giving an angle. So I look to the side, I look to my right, and then again, I do all four directions. One, two, three, four. Then I look to my left. Again, I do all four directions, resisting this way, resisting this way, resisting up and down, and resisting. Good, and that's gonna get all angles that people are gonna put your neck in. Obviously extremely important in wrestling, um, particularly in catch wrestling where there's a lot of neck cranks. 
So that is the neck exercises. Next one we're so, going to do is your bridge exercise. And for beginners, you only had doing the front bridge. So again, we just keep down on the hands, uh, on the knees in here. We come forward and I just go up and down. And I go here to shoulder. Again, once you can do that, you can just bring your hands back. Good, up and down. Those of you that wrestle, um, you obviously know how to bring your hands up and do more advanced bridging. So this was the basic resistance exercises by Farmer Burns. Okay guys, and the last group of exercises, um, body weight exercises, our warm-ups, or for beginners might even be their workout, is your trunk and legs. So. We can adopt a stance like this again. I'm gonna take a step to the side. You notice that my toe is open and I take a small bend in that leg and then I bend as if I'm going to put my elbow and knee towards, together so I'm not rotating this way, the side bend. We do 15 on one side, then I do 15 on the other side. And that is the first of the trunk and leg exercises. Second exercise is the Hindu squat. We stay up on the toes, so you adopt this stance again. Come up on the toes, hands stay on the hips for this exercise, and then come all the way down, balance, and up, down, and up. Beginning with 15 repetitions and increasing as you get stronger. Next one is a forward bend. Again, heels together, toes splayed open in here, and then just coming down, aiming your head towards this point here, and down. Uh, 15 times then from this position here we're going to do a side bends again but now we stay in this position here and we really try to get as far as we can each side and again 10 to 15 repetitions each side from that position there we do a rotation so hands like so i'm going to rotate as i rotate the hips will uh tilt slightly as I try to turn as far as I can. Okay, excellent. And then the last exercise is your back bends. So from this position here, we adopt the same stance and we take note to not move our feet um, open or uh, uh, take the heels off the ground and we lean back as far as we can as we warm up. We go back further and further. For this exercise, he advised to do 10, relax, and then do 10 again, repeating this back bend, keeping the feet in this position as you warm up. And that concludes the 19 exercises of farmer burns the body weight exercises thank you